Hi beauties and curls, it is Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming back as always and thanks so much for watching. If this is your first time, welcome and I hope you guys hit the subscribe button before you leave and if you're an OG, thanks so much for coming back over and over again. So first of all, let me just say Merry Christmas because you are watching this on Christmas Day. Yeah, and I wanted to come with my favorite beauty products in 2017. Now these are ones that I have tried. They may not be new, but they're new to me and um, I've tried them throughout the year. Now, I don't have something for every category because I wanted to come and let you know what spoke to me on this year. It's gonna hit everybody's pocket because I have drugstore, I have high-end, I also have luxury. So I'm really excited about this. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. So the first um, product that I'm going to talk about is the Makeup Forever. This is the Skin Booster. This is a Hydra Serum but it also can serve as a primer. This is so amazing. I talked about this in one of my favorites videos. Now I haven't tried the Smashbox one. This one I got at the makeup show. So I have not tried this, but I definitely will be comparing the two. Let me know if that's something that you wanna see in 2018, but I absolutely love the, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster, love it. Next, moving on to foundations. I actually fell in love with the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. This is amazing. I'm in the shade Soft Honey. It says it's lightweight. It's It can build up to full coverage. It has SPF 20 and it's oil free. I love this foundation. It looks so beautiful. I do have a review. By the way, anything that I have a review on, I'll link it down below, but this one I have a review on and it looks so amazing on the skin. And I totally remember this foundation. I love reviewing foundations, but this was a foundation that I remembered this year testing out. And when it's memorable like that, it's either good or bad. And this is definitely a really great foundation, especially if you have dry skin, this is something that you wanna pick up. I actually was introduced to this one at the end of the year. And this is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. This is amazing, flawless foundation. It gives you full coverage. I really, really like it. I actually didn't have to use a concealer when I use this. I just use the lighter shade, which this is Macchiato, and the darker shade is Cafe. I'm honestly, like, I'm thinking of any foundation better. And my NARS Sheer Glow, which is like my number one foundation, it does not even top this. And that's saying a lot. And it's because I could use this as a foundation and it really didn't even crease on me. It dries matte and it's a nice soft matte. It's not like a dry hard, like a full coverage, like cake face matte. But even me being having normal to dry skin, I really did like these. Okay, so I did not have any powders that really spoke to me that are new, but I do have some concealers. Y'all know in terms of color correcting, that is a must in my makeup regimen. But I actually found this in the drugstore and I said I was going to try it. The Master Camo by Maybelline. This is in the shade, I want to say peach. Oh, apricot. This is so good. Like, really, really good. I could go with this and not any other concealer that's color correcting. Although I do have some high-end ones that I really like, like the Urban Decay and Peach. That one's is amazing. This one, the applicator is so, so good and it dries down. I've learned that I actually like my concealers. I do prefer them in a wand rather than a pot. It really has to be really, really good for me to get it in a pot. So I really do enjoy this color corrector. It was amazing um, and I really like it. Definitely repurchased for me. Two concealers that really stood out to me. This one I'm wearing today, this is the Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Concealer. This is in medium peach. I like the fact that they have different undertones and this one is really, really good. I feel, feel like you can get like full coverage with this and it is very, very creamy. I really like it a lot. And then Tarte Shape Tape. Now this one I like because I don't have to set it down. Like I don't have to use a powder to set it. Any other concealer I've always had to set with a powder, but this one I actually don't. So I can actually put this on and go and it dries down. Absolutely love it. I have it in medium and I also have it in tan, but I really do enjoy this. And it has, it's not a doe foot. Honey, this is a book foot, okay? So I really do enjoy this as well. 
the next one I'm gonna talk about I don't think I've talked about this in a favorites video but um, I've been using this and actually my perfect combination is using this with the Tarte Shape Tape and this is the Glossier Stretch Concealer now this is in the shade medium at first I didn't know how to use this but you have to go online and look at the instructions on how to use this stretch concealer because it does crease on the eye and you do have to set it but I figured out how to use it and not necessarily have to set it and that is tapping it in and then wiping which they show in a demo on the website I absolutely love this I was surprised that I would love such an emollient type of um, concealer but I really do love love this and this is a medium but I think I'm going I'm going to go back and get dark because this one is pretty light under my eyes but this is really the only pot concealer that I like really really love because y'all know I like a wand in terms of my concealer so those are my concealers let's move on to the next category let's move on to bronzers this pure this is the pure mineral glow by pure cosmetics love this this kind of like blew me away i got this in an ipsy glam bag from last year but no 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 no. it was this year it was this year and i absolutely love it this is the perfect shade it blends so beautifully it looks like sun kiss it melts into the skin i did not expect this from pure and pure you know what we underestimate Pure, to be honest with you, because I don't know, Pure is a brand that I definitely want to look more into in 2018, just because it is so, so amazing. Um, there's a couple of, uh, there's a palette that I've been trying from my BoxyCharm that I really liked. It was, it's toward the end of the year, so it's not going to be in my favorites just because I feel like I haven't used it enough, but this bronzer this bronzer this is another product I hear nobody talking about this is from Mally Beauty this is the Evercolor poreless face defender boost now I don't even know what they say this is I know it comes with the sponge right in here that I've never used so it just stays in here but y'all I use this as a cream bronzer or contour it is the perfect like it's like a moussey creamy texture so when you put it on it blends in so effortlessly it's like um it says poreless it's a ever color poreless y'all this gives me airbrush skin instantly and i love using this as a bronzer it has a nice mirror but i hear no one talking about this and this is really really good like and amazing and it dries down to a powder so I don't have to like go in and set it with a powder it kind of like dries down to a powder it's like a creamy mousse and then dries down to a powder so I absolutely love this I don't know it's a bronzer I mean that's what I use it for I don't know um, I try to go online and see what it's used for but that's what I use it for okay so moving on to eyeliners this eyeliner from Sephora this is the crayon this is the crayon contour 12 hour it's waterproof and this is in the shade coco i love this i didn't realize i was gonna like bronzers as much like bronze um bronze eyeliners but this reminds me of my mac teddy so if you like mac teddy but it's not waterproof and it's not staying in your waterline then this one in coco by sephora is really really good i really like this one a lot it's time for me to actually sharpen it and usually i don't sharpen eyeliners just because i feel like i don't use them that much so okay let's talk about mascaras the it Cosmetics superhero i have a ton of these especially in the deluxe size and let me tell you something about deluxe size i actually somewhat like it better than the full size just because i feel like the applicator goes right into all of the product and you won't I feel like I'm wasting product in the larger ones that's just me not to say that I won't get a large size because I will but I just really really like the deluxe size a lot better but um it cosmetic superhero it, I get so I get my my lashes are so voluminous they're so long and it's exactly what I want my lashes to do so I really love this and for my bottom lashes, this is from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. It is, it kind of resembles the Giga Black Lash by MAC, 
but um, this is what I use on my lashes, um, my bottom lashes. I just feel like it dries out a lot quicker, but it's cheaper. So, and you're only using it for three months, but I absolutely love it and it gets all the lashes. So I love these two. Okay, so let's move on to highlighters. Y'all, I have two, I have actually three. The first one I'm gonna talk about, this one blew me away. This is Ofra Rodeo Drive, y'all. This is the most beaming gold that I've ever, like this gold is even more beaming than Gilded Honey with some other ones. It's more be beaming. It's like on the lines of Whisper of Guilt, but with more gold, I feel like. This is so, so beautiful. It's soft. It melts into the skin. I could actually take a beauty blender and put it on my skin and it would just blend away. I really, really like this. Another unexpected one, and these are unexpected highlighters that I didn't really expect to like go crazy. I went crazy with um, the Dose of Colors, Desi and Katie Mirame. This is so beautiful. I've used this a, quite a bit on my channel and um, when I'm filming videos, I really, really like how it looks. It's to the point where I kind of like want to obsessively put some on right now, but um, I can't find my fan brush, so yeah. But this is so good. It is like a rose gold, and y'all, I am about that rose gold life. Yes. So, so beautiful. Now, this one that I am going to talk about, y'all, I've had since the Sephora VIB, which I've only had this for a month, but I definitely can tell you that I absolutely love this. I love the colors in it. Just don't quite like the packaging, but y'all, this Afterglow, Afterglow Palette by Urban Decay, yes. This color Wicked is what I have on my uh, face today. I like how it has a pink tint, but on the face, it's like, it's not too much. It's not like, not too ashy at all. Really love it. And I love No Angel, this one right here. Uh, look, this one right here is No Angel and this is Wicked. These are the ones that I've been using the most, but such a beautiful palette. I absolutely love it. These are the ones that kind of like melt into the skin. I really, really like these three and they're, they were like unexpected. Like I've kept reaching for them. Move on to palettes. Um, ColourPop stole my heart this year and this Yes Please palette the bomb I feel like this is one of the best warm tone palettes that you can get for your money I really do enjoy this I feel like the colors are beautiful they're stellar and they are warm tone and they're like three shimmers and the rest of them are like satin and um, satin and matte but these are so so beautiful this one I got because more so of the packaging, but was so surprised that I loved even the formula. Well, the formula of ColourPop is amazing, the pressed shadows, but this was like my dream cool tone palette. And I am not one that always wears pops of color, but these are ones that you could actually put on your lid, blend it out and go. And I really do like these, like these icy, this icy blue. This is like an iridescent with a like purple shift. This one has, it has a cream and these you can actually put in as transition shades. I feel like this palette, I don't see a lot of people talking about it like that. They talk about more because it's My Little Pony, but it's a really good palette. The last palette I'm going to talk about is up there, okay? And I'm talking about in price, but y'all, it's good, okay? It's good. And it's not necessarily, like I said, in... I think I talked about this. I, t I have a review of this. It's not necessarily the colors because I have these colors in my collection. Don't get me wrong. It's the blendability. It's how they look on the eye. It's like you don't have on makeup, but it like, you know, you have something on, but it's like a natural glow that just like, I don't know. This is like lit with from within on your eyes. And this is the Tom Ford quad this is the eye color quad in 04 honeymoon i love this i love this palette i use this at my sister's wedding and i used it on a couple of the um, i used it on the maid of honor and i actually used it also on my sister and y'all saw um, i do have a video using this palette it is so good 
y'all it is so good it's luxury <sighs> i hate to talk about this being as expensive as it is but it is worth the money like i don't regret buying it okay i don't okay so let's move into some lip colors y'all know i'm a lip gloss gloss girl so let's start off with lip glosses what stole my heart this year minted cosmetics these are so good i have right here i have bury me moth over baby brown these are the three that i have right now send nudes is one of my favorite moth over me would be probably be my next one but these are so good they are non-sticky they are highly pigmented they give you a high gloss i would put these up with my luxury lip glosses like my mark jacobs um i really do like these these are like so good and these are comparable for women of color you're not gonna go wrong they are different shades and i absolutely love 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 these the other lip glosses that i liked these are from makeup forever these are the artist metallic glosses y'all i didn't know i was going to get on the metallic train like i didn't expect to but i have been loving metallics as you can tell this is in the shade purple and in taupe i love both of these i actually could wear these this one right now which i feel like i might put go ahead and put it on let me show y'all this is purple I just went vampy but like this is so pigmented it is crazy but that's how that looks it is so pretty these are so pretty and then the other ones that I want to talk about are the cosmic metals these are from NYX so affordable um these actually look like gloss to me like all those these are lip creams they look like glosses i have the this one in celestial and in what is this metal crystal crystallized metal these are so so pretty finally i'm going to talk about some lip colors and again what stole my heart minted cosmetics these lipsticks are so good i was wearing these non-stop and i do have a couple of these shown on instagram some of my favorite were nude la la if you want to check out any of these you can check them out on uh, Instagram but these are so creamy I talked about these being comparable to the NARS audacious lipsticks and these are cruelty free and vegan and as you know that NARS is no longer another one of my favorites is pretty in pink I'm gonna swatch a few of these so you can see but these are so so creamy and let me do foxy brown these oh these are so pretty so those are the swatches of the lipsticks they're so pretty gorgeous but these are the lip colors that i have been like non-stop reaching for throughout the year so yeah wanted to give minted a shout out okay guys uh, that is my best of beauty of 2017 thanks so much for watching please subscribe if you hadn't already and i'll see beautiful you in the next video bye loveys